Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be reviewing the Momoka Frog and Flamingo Switches. One day I was just browsing RMK and then I came across this post for a giveaway of these switches. I looked at the post and then I checked their website and I saw that they were handing out some reviewer copies. So I quickly applied for it and now here they are. So they sent me a full pack of 90 Momoka Frog Switches and just a small 10 sample of the Flamingo Switches. Today I'll be reviewing these switches based off their stats and their main selling points. I'll give you a quick sound test and then I'll give you my personal opinions on them. Alright, let's start out with the frog switches. So these are a linear switch with a 62 gram operating force. The total travel distance is 3.7 millimeters with a pre-travel of 2.5. It features a polycarbonate upper housing with a palm stem and a PA66 base. You notice the top of the stem is shaped kind of like that kale box style, where the edges of the stem kind of go all the way up to the top. This helps a lot with stability, especially when you push the key down. The tolerances are really good, and there's very little stem wobble. Aside from that, one of the main selling points of these switches is that they come pre-lubed. Inside, they are lubricated with GP205 and GP105. Personally, I would say the smoothness and stability of this switch really give it its personality. The fact that they come in pre-lubricated means that they're really easy to use and to install, and you don't have to do any extra work modding them. If you're an experienced keyboard maker, this could save you a lot of time. And if you're just getting started and you don't have the supplies needed to lubricate the switches yourself, this is a really great option. The Flamingo switches are similar in many ways to the Frog switches. Like the Frog switches, they are a linear switch and they have an operating force of 67 grams. The operating point is 1.9 millimeters and they have a total travel distance of 3.9 millimeters. The Flamingo switches also come factory lubed with three different types of lube, but I couldn't find out exactly what types of lube they're using. Again, they have the similarities of really great tolerances and very little stem wobble, along with a great smoothness. And now that we know a little bit about the switches, let's take a listen at the sound test before I get into my personal opinions. Okay, now let's get into my personal opinion on these switches. As someone who prefers tactile switches, switching back to linear switches was kind of an interesting feeling for me. I've used the frog switches on my keyboard for about a week now. I know it's personal preference, but I didn't really like the switches. I think it's mainly because the switch was too light for me. When I was playing Tetris with those flamingo switches, they actually felt a lot nicer than the frog switches to me. I wish they would have sent me a full pack of 90 of those so I could try those out. So it's unfortunate that they were sending out only that small sample. To me, the flamingo switches were really nice. I actually really enjoyed them a lot. The frog switches I actually didn't find as smooth as I thought they would be. Yes, they come pre-lubricated, but for my taste, they didn't apply enough to them. The flamingo switches, on the other hand, felt really smooth to me. It's just a shame that they didn't advertise what lubricants that they're using. It's probably some in-house mix that's not recognizable, so they chose not to label it. But whatever it is, it's really working for them. So between the two, I think the flamingo switches definitely beat out the frog switches. Keep in mind, it's all just personal preference. 
I'm more used to tactiles, so switching from the lighter weight frog switch to the heavier weight flamingo switch felt really good to my fingers. But for you, you might actually prefer the lighter weight of the frog switch. Just keep it in mind when making your next purchase. One of the selling points for these switches is that they come pre-lubricated. While this might be a bonus for a lot of people, again, the amount of lube that you want is also preference. To me, the frog switches felt under lubricated while the flamingo switches felt just right. If you're gonna buy these just because they come pre-lubricated and you don't wanna do any of the lubrication yourself, I might think twice before picking these up. If you're looking for other pre-lubricated switches, I would consider looking at the Novel Key Silk series first. Those I have used before, and out of the box, those felt a lot smoother than the frog switches, and about the same as the flamingo switches. And that's about it for this quick review. If you haven't already, make sure you check out the latest episode of Animec. Someone in the comments told me that they didn't get notified that I uploaded that video, so make sure you check it out if you haven't already. Other than that, that's it for me. Expect more projects soon. Shout out to my Patreon because you guys are awesome. And I'll see everyone in the next video.